So laser cutting layered maps is always a lucrative opportunity if you have a small business, but it's always difficult. There's so many layers to try and sort out and things get really confusing, but I found a better tool. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what it is and why you might wanna to switch to this. So let's get started. Hey, it's Steve and welcome back. Now about three years ago to the day, I published a video on how to create layered maps with your laser using a tool called Snazzy Maps. Snazzy Maps pulls all sorts of information out of the Google Maps database and you then have to sift through it and figure out what details you want on what layer of your map and then how to put it all together and get it cut out is also sometimes a challenge. I hadn't really thought of anything but snazzy maps until recently, but a company reached out to me and said, hey, we've got a tool that's probably better than snazzy maps. More importantly, we're working on it actively and we're going to evolve it fairly quickly. So you want you might want to take a look. And I I basically loaded this up uh, recently and I thought, wow, yeah, there's uh, there's still a few challenges. But overall, this is definitely a better tool than snazzy maps. And in this video, what I want to do is recreate that map that I did in the past video using this new tool and then get a, a kind of a perspective on whether it's easier to use or more difficult or where there's some learning experience. I'll talk about some of the some of the challenges I ran into with this new tool as well towards the end of this video, but uh, but I've been talking to the company and they're very eager to to kind of deal with some of these things. So they have a really nice roadmap that I think is, is gonna continue to improve this tool. Anyway, that's the context here. So let's get started. I'll show you the tool and I'll recreate that map that I did three years ago and we'll see what comes out. All right, and here's the new tool. It's called Laser Map Maker. And the word laser is the operative word here because the guys who built this actually use lasers and that means that everything that happens here is really geared towards laser cutting and engraving so i'll just get started first thing i'll do is i'll go to the dashboard now i've already created just a test map here to play around with but i'm going to show you how to create a completely new one from scratch so i'll, I'll create a new project and i'm going to use the previous location that i used in the old map so I'm just going to zoom out here and go to my actual location, which will be right around here somewhere. And I believe if I look at, if I remember what I drew before, it's probably something on this kind of perspective. So there's my, the map I'm going to start with now. The, the, there's a couple of important things to do. You'll see this add layer button. What this is specifically saying is add a new layer to engrave or cut. That's separate from, am I showing land or water or roads? So keep that in perspective. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is add a, add a new layer, of course. So an actual new layer I'm gonna engrave. And I wanna put the land on here. So what I wanna say is I'm gonna select the land. Now that's a fill, but I also want to distinguish an outline from that which is which is the water so i'm also going to want to do the same thing with the water and this to me is a little bit wonky i think maybe they could clean this up where if i select this one uh, it should just automatically do what this is about to do which is uh, create the actual outline so for this i'll just say this is my land and I'll create that layer. And now you can see it actually drew a border and it, it did a snapshot here. Now this is all the wrong color, of course. So I'm going to take and edit the land, which is the first one of those. And you see, as soon as I select it, it turned, it, it turned green immediately because that's the color I picked. And then I'll go back and I'll pick the water and I'll just say, let's make the water blue. Now, both of these are, are not really fills, they're designating a, a, an outline, so, uh, because I, I actually wanna cut that. So if I go up here and look at the settings for this, you'll see right now it says fill as, as the tracing strategy. So I wanna actually do an outline when I cut this. So that will ensure that I'm only cutting the land. Now notice the border here is black. So I, what I really want to do is attach the border to the land. So I'm going to say, let's make the border green and ah, I can make it a little bigger here if I want, just to make it stand out a bit more. And now you see the border turned green immediately. Now, before we kind of jump in further, I'm just going to show you what that actually did. So I'll go to this, 
this prepare uh, export and this is really just a preview we're not actually exporting anything yet this will take a, a couple of seconds because it's actually doing a map right it's it's going to take some time so now you can see you can certainly see the blue but the blue will just be pieces cut out and all of the green you can see is attached to the border so that's what that that color change did and we can we can continue here i just want to show you that now without making this a three hour video i'm not going to walk you through every single layer i selected what i'll do is i'll show you what i created ultimately for the final map and where there's important notes i'll call them out as we go so uh, let's just proceed and uh, i'll show you the finished map here's my finished map and it, you can see it has three layers and again these layers are things that will get laser engraved or laser cut i have the land layer which you saw and it has the two fills one for water and one for land and it's a cut layer i then have a, a thing called land engraved layer which will basically put key roads on the land and if i hide this next layer you'll see which ones get there so it's mostly just street level stuff so small streets will all be engraved on the actual land as as this first layer then i have this this next layer which i call the road cut layer and this will be another layer above so this will be that stacked on top of the streets and this one has all of the main roads and i fatten them up so that they'll stand out because these will actually be cut and some of them will be fairly fragile until you get them glued down now if i actually look at the preview of all of this so you'll see there's three three layers the land layer so the blue will actually be cut away uh, anything that's green here will will technically be cut but things like these islands will be very small in, unless you're creating this on a piece of plywood uh, a full sheet of plywood so be prepared that some of these are going to disappear this island here in this particular map I'll, I'll keep uh, because it's historically important there's a fort on it and uh, that's the, the the, the land then this layer is an engraved layer and it will be put on top of the the land so on that same layer but it'll be done as a separate engrave and here's the last layer which is the road cut layer and you'll see here that there's again lots of tiny things these will possibly be be not small enough to to cut so they may actually still be in there and this would apply to things like clover leaves and and whatnot on on major highways so be prepared again for that sort of thing to happen uh, it's not likely because lasers generally are pretty precise and i'm going to actually cut this as a about a 10 inch square map which is the same as the one i did in the previous mapping video just for side by side comparison after that you can export this map and again this will take a while and when you're done you can actually look at individual maps and and see them you can download these separately or you can just download a single zip file so I'll, I'll download them i'll go cut them out on the laser and i'll show you what i get in the end all right so i did all the laser cutting and you can see the final result here now that it's glued together i pre-painted three sheets of plywood for this so blue for the water green for your land and black for for the road cutouts and uh, when i put it all together it looks pretty nice so laser map maker definitely creates really good maps and uh, even though this was kind of a project video where i put together a map that's a complete uh, product we'll say that i'm going to give to somebody uh, i will treat this like a review video of laser map maker so i will talk about some some things i really like and some things i think need some improvement on the plus side it's definitely better than snazzy maps if you play with that tool you know every detail that you want to put on a map has a thousand leaves levers to press and that's not the case here now keep in mind maps are still hard but laser map maker definitely improves the the ease of that uh, next on the list uh, there's a lot of file formats supported i use svg because i have lots of tooling for it but if you work in dxf or png or pdf even uh, you'll find that format and you can export it directly uh, and finally there is support here for contoured maps now the one disclaimer i'll put is it's still a little bit green it's not quite ready for prime time it's a little challenging but if you are an experienced maker of contour maps you'll be able to use this easily uh, i did have conversations with laser map maker and they do have a roadmap to improve this and i'm looking forward to it uh, just to see what they do 
on the downside, some I, I did struggle with bridges. Now, almost every map tool I've ever seen has problems with bridges because they, they aren't smart enough to know that you're laser engraving or laser cutting. So they don't put material there if you want to draw a road across a piece of water, uh, which means if you want to put a, a bridge across a land layer, and I did this in the previous video where I hacked in a rectangle and merged it all in, uh, you'll have to do the same thing here. The solution I had here was to put all of the major roads on uh, on the next layer and that coincidentally solved my bridge problem because in Halifax where, where I, I did this map, uh, all of the bridges happen to be on main roads. So you can do that as well. Now next on the list, there, there are some minor UI problems that I ran into. A few bugs, I would say, but they could be just browser incompatibility or, or you know, internet issues. Who knows? Uh, I did, I did send them all to Laser Map Maker, so hopefully they can either explain them or resolve them over time. And last on the list, if you're a hobbyist, uh, this might be a bit pricey. This tool, they do have monthly uh, licensing. But if you just want to make one map of your neighborhood or a couple of maps, whatever, this may be a, a little expensive. Uh, it would be nice if there was just a free tier where maybe it has some limitations, but you can make the map that you want. Now, I will put an affiliate link in the description down below. And if you're thinking of getting a laser map maker, then by all means, <laughs> use that link. It will help out the channel and I'll appreciate that. Uh, I'll also put a couple of links to, to videos that Laser Map Maker created, which are more introductory. Uh, go watch those. Now, fair warning, they're low resolution, so if you're trying to watch them on a mobile device, you're probably going to struggle a bit, but hopefully they'll, they'll make some new ones over time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you got something out of this video, click the like button. Uh, be sure to watch our Wednesday night uh, live feeds where you can come and ask pretty much any question you want or just have a chat with, with a few YouTubers. And I'll say, uh, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.